fireworks here at noon. We've barely gotten through uh, a big hurricane, which hit last week, and five more disturbances are developing in the tropics. Five. Yep, we are watching them all. Let's get straight to first warning meteorologist Cam Tran. Cam, it's so early still, but one of these systems could impact Florida. That is right. So I'll first address the other four that will not have any direct impacts, including Isaac, which is now remnant low. That is going to continue to fall apart. Joyce is now a tropical depression. Again, not expected to impact any land at all. In fact, Kirk right now a tropical storm. It's going to be a major hurricane soon, but not expected to impact any land. It's a become a fish storm, and this tropical wave off the coast of Africa has a high chance of developing that will likely be our next name system, Leslie. But the one they're keeping closer tabs on is this feature out in the Western Caribbean. Right now, it's very disorganized. It's almost like two little features in the Western Caribbean. This one off Central America, and then this little feature here east of Cancun. Essentially, these two can merge as they move into the Gulf of Mexico. A broad area low pressure will form in the Western Caribbean, then it lifts northwest into the Gulf of Mexico, where a tropical depression could form over the next few days. A 40% chance of doing so, but right now, again, Again, this is very disorganized and since it hasn't developed yet, we don't have the tropical models to run with it, but we do have the long range global models and here's a look. I just updated this graphic minutes before air and you can see most of the models do having it curving off towards the east as it enters the Gulf of Mexico. Only one the American GFS has it doing a little bit of a curve north and westward towards the Florida Panhandle, which this curve to the east is not unusual. We are in the uh, starting in the fall season already, so we typically get fall fronts that may may curve whatever develops if it does develop towards the east. So we'll continue to monitor the trends for you. But here's what we know of right now with this disturbance in the Caribbean. Models are definitely struggling with developing this right now. It looks to be if it do develop, it looks to be weaker and wetter. Either way, though, no matter what develops, we are expecting tropical moisture to increase into central Florida by this week and into early next week. And I'll talk more about how much rain we could possibly see with this coming up. All right, Cam, thank you.